Long third quarter defeat Tusculum here today, 80 to 55, joined by Pioneer coach Megan Price. And of course, that's not the pretty part. Let's start with the pretty part. It was a great first half. You talked about, you know, we're going to get back into it. We're going to, this team took ownership from the Queens game. And that was the frustrating part. Man, we look, we look phenomenal yeah. in that first half. I really did so look too. good. Yeah, I thought so, too. We shared the basketball well. We executed well. Yeah. And it's been a while. I mean, it's kind of like a pick your poison because we don't work on defense for a couple of days because we really need to work on offense and scoring the basketball. And then we give up 80. So it makes it tough because I thought we yeah. did a great job defending, too, in the first half. Yeah. And they did not make that many adjustments on offense in the second half. I don't know if we just got tired or what, but we just didn't dig deep when we needed to. And then, and then the, the, the Jekyll part, the Hyde part, whatever you want to call it, the second half, it was just different. We hit the first three, and then we missed a little run out for a layup attempt, and then it sparked a huge run um, yeah. for them. And you're right. I don't think it's that they did anything in the – McNeil hit early threes. That was but, huge. But their whole idea was to go yeah. into the paint, and yeah. they continued to go into the paint. I did think we did a bad job defending it. It's just I don't think we stood our ground much yeah. in the second half. I don't either. You know, and we talked a lot about pushing them out early, and then if they keep battling with you, fall down and take a charge, even if they don't have the basketball. That's something that I have preached and we talked about over and over again uh, the last couple of days. And, I mean, I even sent clips on it, like, hey, this is a big thing to do in transition. So, you know, the problem I have with our group still is not listening in situations like that when it comes down to a scout because every possession is important. Right. There was a couple of sets we ran, and I was trying to get it to Jay because she's hot, and we turn around and run it for Maya. So it's all about understanding the game and that IQ level and things that we've talked about before that we got to continue to do. Um, you know, because I wanted to get the ball back in Jay's hands because she'd made a few, yeah. and she played a great game tonight. Yeah, and it was the best I've seen her play in a while, and her first half was locked in. But just one attempt in that third quarter where we were really struggling. And, and I like the fact that Bree was very aggressive yeah. because I think she is a matchup night. Nightmare. Yeah, but they did a little. I think a little adjustment on her, and they would come yeah. and rub her a little bit, and uh, made made life yeah. difficult for her. Yeah, I think so too. Because you know, when it first started out, everybody was a little shocked because they sagged on us. Yeah, um, and sagged on Bree, and so it's like, well, you just got to step up at that point and just make just it three. Make it. Uh, you know, and then if not, work the basketball and get it reversed back to you, and then do it again. Um, and so I thought, you know, I thought she did a great job making those reads, and and we're running a lot of things to her to create. And so I know she's a little tired, but that's one of those things we got to tough it out for 40 because she's our best bet to create. It was a game where if you look at the numbers, not everything is just mind-blowing, staggering, because you forced them into turnovers, you scored off of their turnovers, you just ran out of some luck there in that third quarter, and I don't know that I've seen that, you know, uh, in a very long time. Yeah. We just didn't get to the free throw line either, and I thought that no. was interesting that we, we didn't get some of that stuff. I mean, we're driving it into the paint. We yeah. didn't get an opportunity to be at the line. I said that too, you know, and one of the things that I've I've been talking about to our girls, like we can complain, but coaches aren't, you're not going to get calls if you complain, and that's one thing I've been working on as well, and understanding that like, okay, I still have to go in with the intent to score, and if it's an N1 right. and they don't get it, get up and say N1 and keep going. Yeah. Uh, but it's a dog fight to get to the rack and then slow down and finish against contact. You know, and that's something that we continue to work on all year. We're just going to have to keep battling. You know, the rebounds, they're huge. They're big. Yeah. I thought it was impressive that we had 14 offensive rebounds because part of our game plan was to, well, if it's get not there, let's transition. get back in transition. Yeah, yeah I thought so, too. Uh, you know, so I was kind of shocked on some of that. But, you know, and then I, I think we were out or we were out rebounding on the first half. It just yeah. comes back to, like, that backside rebound, too. Our guards were lazy, and they weren't getting in there and boxing out. And so even if they missed a shot, they were rebounding opposite. And, I mean, those are things that you just got to take care of business. It doesn't seem like it's a game like we're a good defensive team. It just yeah. – I think they definitely – I think it's a little bit of they, they really got hot, too. Yeah, I do, too. You know, I was looking because they went 7 for 16, and they only averaged making uh, around four or five threes a game. And that's big because we're still trying to defend the post, make sure they don't shoot the three. It's a tough matchup for us. Uh, I mean, they're, they're a great team. They're I team. really I really think so. Uh, I've been saying I think they're one of, I mean, probably top three in the conference, if not top two. I thought our energy was outstanding. I, I even threw that fourth quarter. This team didn't quit. I was really I was I was pleased to see that. Yeah, me too. You know, because I, and I was a little worried about that because I could tell we dropped our heads for a second and the third. And I was like, we're not fighting. It don't matter about the score, but you got to continue to fight and get better every possession and finish possessions out. I got to finish this home standoff because LR is with one of those teams that's right there. They're blowing. They're, they're going to cool. win. So yeah. it's, it's going to look weird in the league, I think, for a couple of weeks. But we got to take care of business on Saturday. That's the biggest thing. Saturday, we got to take care of business, and then we got to turn around and take care of business that following week. I mean, every game here, you're playing for the tournament, and so it'll be big for us to continue to compete. I'm fortunate tonight. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. She's Pioneer Coach Megan Price. The Pioneers fall to Anderson tonight. Back with some final words. Anderson 80, Tuskegee 55 here on the Pioneer Sports Network.